Hello, I'm Dan Lambert, a pest control technician with the Bugman here in Middle Tennessee. And today we are going to do a small video on ants. Uh, ants, as we all know, are probably one of the biggest uh, concerns here in Middle Tennessee. They get in your pantries, kitchen, bathrooms, especially in the spring time of year. They get heavy when it rains. Uh, then when the sun comes out and the drought starts, they come inside for the moisture things like that. So um, there are certain techniques that are used to uh, battle the ants that go beyond simply just showing up and uh, spraying your house. And today we are going to learn how to treat these ants um, and do it, do it correctly. And we're going to examine some of the different um, ways they react to different pesticides uh, to make sure we're spraying the correct pesticides to get the job done uh, to eliminate the colony so the first thing that we're going to use today um, that I'm going to show you is going to be sprayed out of a small B&G sprayer um, we're going to spray this uh, this residual pesticide on some ant trails that I've already located to see how they react to that uh, then we're going to spray this on another ant trail um, see how they react to this. This is a uh, non-repellent um, which works really good on ants. We're going to use a couple different kinds of baits today. The gel bait and the entice granular insect bait. And uh, one of the interesting things um, to learn about ants is actually understanding their traveling areas being used as pheromone trails and any any time there's an interruption in that pheromone trail, it can really disturb the ants and sometimes cause them to uh, immediately try to relocate their nest. So you got to be really careful on which uh, pesticides you choose. And today in this video, we're going to uh, kind of learn exactly um, how to use each of those and, and how to do that. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to use on a trail of ants is simply uh, basic water just a glass of water and by using the water on the ant trail I'm going to be able to show you exactly how important it is to try not to disturb that pheromone trail that the ants are using so it doesn't send them into some kind of a panic mode um, to where you it, it virtually just end up treating um, a few of the ants instead of the actual colony now um, ants just like uh, bees or anything else termites they colonize, they have a queen. And even though we we come over here to the side of the house, we can we can see the ants trailing down here. Um, we're gonna become friends with these ants. We're gonna use them as our carrier to get the uh, uh, get the get the baits and get the non-repellent pesticide back to the colony to destroy the queen. Um, we could virtually kill all these ants within 30 seconds probably so you see no ants here at all. Unfortunately, the queen in the ground or in the colony will survive. Uh, the ants will be back and uh, back in your kitchen a different day. However, the problem could be worse and harder to find because their nest could be um, relocated. So. And if you ever kicked over a rock and then all of a sudden you see ants carrying all their eggs off as they're moving. So, all right. I've already located several different areas of ants on this house. And hopefully you can see the ants traveling. But these ants are all traveling this first little seam down here. Um, yeah, we can we can see it good. They're, they're all traveling this and they're... You know, they're, even though we think we're, they're just following the block, they're actually following a pheromone scent. So, they know where the moisture is, they know where the food is. Um, so, the scouts will find this, lay down the pheromone scent, and send the, the workers back up to supply the colony with the food. So, the first thing we're going to do is uh, find, find a few traveling here. And just basic, just basic water we're going to dump. Now, you'll notice... That the ants are stopping and they're kind of frantic they don't know which way to go um, it's not the water that they're afraid of they can no longer um, 
detect the pheromone trail they're they're basically you know stuck they have no clue what to do where to go um, they have no understanding where they're at now because it's water they're they're still going to travel over it but even on this side you'll see that they they kind of start on it and turn back around almost like a a, a dog trailing a, a scent um, they're not they're not really sure about it because the pheromone scent has been disturbed so when this dries they will re-establish the pheromone trail and it'll be okay but this just gives you a sense of importance on going to the store and buying an over-the-counter pesticide and spraying it on your house um, more apt to scare the ants off than you are kill anything so um, so the next thing we're going to do is let's take this pesticide and find us another another little trail of ants now I'm not going to give the name of the pesticide but it's a very common pesticide uh, used by a lot of people on the exterior of the homes and we get a lot of calls where uh, customers will have other exterminating companies come out and treat three four five times and they'll tell us the problems just kind of gotten worse and it's never really gotten better and they'll go away for a couple weeks and then they'll show back up again and that immediately tells me it's the wrong pesticide being used because they're they're doing more repelling of the ants and uh, causing them to relocate than they are actually destroying the colony so okay again this is a pesticide I would never recommend using for ants on the outside however it is a pesticide that a lot do so back again to the ants trailing this area here I am going to just put the slightest line and you will immediately see the ants stop and turn around they will not touch it will not touch it you see one thinking about it maybe should we go there no we shouldn't go there all the ants to the left have completely ran off all the ants to the right you know they're feeling a little braver however not very they know it's not uh, they know it's not something that they can uh, necessarily be traveling so um, Again, we destroyed the pheromone trail, and as well, the pesticide we use, they can also detect that. Um, just by the amount of area that I've sprayed um, with the water and with this pesticide, you can see one of the ants down here is already carrying an egg off, and you, you may not be able to see it very good, but he just came out of the ground and there's going to be a lot of activity up here where the colony is getting ready to relocate because of um, us destroying it, uh, destroying their, their, their travel corridor. So the next thing we're going to do is examine the correct pesticide that I like to use um, on the exterior of the houses for the ants. And this is going to be hard, kind of hard to uh, to do. And again, they will not walk over this immediately, uh, just because of the simple fact that it's used in in water. And anytime, again, you put any type of water or anything over a, a trail, you're going to lose the uh, lose the pheromone trail. But um, Find us another uh, another good spot here, and um, just slightly spray. Now, if we can get a good film on this, you will see ants completely traveling over top of where I just sprayed. Well, they're getting a little nervous there, and that's just because of the water um, that's hurting the, uh, there, go, there goes one over top of it there. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go around and put some baits out now 
and then we're going to come back and look at these three areas and determine exactly which one's the best to spray the house with.